Welcome back to the final regular season edition of Vikings Connected. That's Aaron Newberg. My name is Chris Hockey. What do we have next? Well, we have another edition of Skull LOL. This is where some of your all-time favorite Vikings players tell some of their favorite stories during their time on the team. Mm -hmm. This time, yeah. we've got Jared Allen, none other than number 69, finally telling us how he got that mullet. Um, well, yeah, so I like how you, there's like no lead into this either. No. That's awesome. Yeah, just, just start talking clown. So most, most everything I do in life is, is it usually comes from like a bet or somebody else thinks something up that's funny and I'm just one with enough gumption to pull it off. So I made a bet with my financial guy when I was in Kansas City who could have the best mullet by like tax day. So we had like a six month growth period. And it started because I saw his, uh, I saw his, college ID and he was just like, he looked like a Peter Griffin with a mullet, just a little fat faced <gasps> mullet guy. Uh, or maybe that's not PC, overweight faced mullet guy. Mm. So we made a bet, it's $5,000, see who could grow the best mullet by, um, by tax day. So I started growing my mullet, right? I went out and I, I'll never forget when I first got a cut, I started to let the hair get long and I was a little nervous. I'm like, all right, I gotta commit to this. So trim them sides up a little bit, got it going. I think I went out and had like, you know, two or three sacks that <laughs> game. I was like, oh, this is amazing. You know, trying to get to touch the back of the neck. Um, and I'll never forget, I was literally in the in the in the barber chair. I don't know if I was like on a I made a game or so slump, I didn't have a sack or we were losing. I was just kinda like because my hair was in an awkward stage. So I'm like, you know what? Dude, I'm done. I'm, I'm cutting the mullet. I'm dang the bed, I'm cutting the mullet. And my buddy, he was like trying to hide it. Like he would just, he would let it grow and they like do a slight trim. And I'm like, bro, you, if you're gonna commit to the mullet, you gotta commit to the mullet. So I made him go and get it cut up and he landed like a big client out in LA because everybody thought it was funny with the mullet, right? Um, so I almost cut it. I was, I was so close to cutting it. And he gave me a pep talk. He's like, bro, don't turn your back on what got you where you're at. And I was like, you know what? You're darn straight. And until I see a whole bunch of just raggedy like rat tails in the stands rocking 69 jerseys with a mullet. I'm not cutting this thing. So then it took on a life of its own. Um, my buddy made me a, a mullet militia t-shirt, right? And I was walking through the uh, I was walking through <laughs> the lobbies in Vegas somewhere, and I, I just, again I have no clue how social media works, right? But so he was running my Twitter account or whatever that Facebook, I think it was Facebook made at the time. I'm a little, a little too old for MySpace, I think. I'm looking for MySpace guy. Um, so he's like, hey, bro, people are keep asking. They saw some big dude walking through freaking like the Mirage with a mullet and with a mullet militia shirt. Like, where can we get these? So an idea sprang. We're like, well, dude, let's sell mullet shirts. Boom, done. Start making mullet militia t-shirts. Who wants to put mullet militia shirts in their in their freaking game day store? The Vikings, awesome, yay! Problem is, I got married, had kids, and I realized, you know, no offense to people with mullets, I genuinely think mullets are awesome. Like, it truly is. If I wasn't balding, I would, as soon as I get like enough courage to get my hair plugs, like to get like Bosley or whatever, or you just whatever, whatever Erlacher used, bro, send me the freaking medicine, I need it. If I can do this non-surgically, I'm in. Um, but yeah, any, if, as soon as I get that, I'm, I'll, I'll grow it back. The problem is, I got little girls, right? And I want, I want to be the image in the series. I want to be the image that of the guy that my girl is going to marry someday. And I'm like, man, if I'm sitting up here with a mullet with like overalls and like you know, just drool on my chin, here and bring some freaking <laughs> ding dong home at the shoot. I'm like, I don't want to go down that road. Uh, so yeah, I cut the mullet, unfortunately. Um, it, it, you know, balding ridiculously. So it's those days, but those, those were some magical days, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I just, everything I did was like, had an extra 10%. I was like an extra 10% good looking, uh, which is just hard because I'm not very good looking. So you imagine you have an extra 10%, that's like life changing, anything I met my wife. Um, you know, I was just, I was like 10% cooler, 10% faster. It was, it was awesome, it was amazing.